So today I started building my first multi-agent system using Relevance AI and I thought I'd share some of the process, what I built, how I built it, some of the challenges I had so that if you're using Relevance AI or you're thinking of building a, a AI agent system, you can learn from this. I'm going to cover some of the things I wish I knew a little bit earlier, some of the challenges I had. Um, so hopefully it's useful. So the agent I'm looking to build is just a kind of a fun project. Um, it's a personalized travel agent for parents with young children. I'm kind of scratching my own itch here because we found when we're looking to plan a trip, the travel agent that we normally use takes them a couple of days to get back to us and they don't always understand some of the nuances that as a parent with young children, kind of things that are important, like short layovers, optimizing for convenience. Like we don't necessarily want to travel somewhere where there's then like a three hour taxi in a country where it's impossible to get car seats. So I wanna see whether the chaining the LLMs and whether the agents can sort of understand some of those nuances and give me a good result pretty quickly. So I'll just cover off how this is working at a very high level. So we have two agents at the moment um, here. We've got the main agent I'm gonna to talk to and we've got a flight time, uh, Flight Time Finley, who's going to look at the booking. So the main travel agent um, I'm going to interface with, this is really simple. We've given them a little description. We've given them some more detailed instructions, essentially tell them, tell them they're going to first try and help us identify a destination. Then they're going to help us find the hotel, then move on to flights and getting specific dates. And then they're going to help us make the booking. So I haven't completed all those steps, but that's the overall kind of uh, instructions that we've given this agent. We've given them a, a bit of an order to that. So this is just a, a flow builder. This helps the agent understand kind of what order um, to go through that. And we can add conditions here. Like for example, here we've asked them to present five options for hotels and then ask whether one of those options is suitable. If we say yes, then this agent is going to pass us over to the flight time booker agent or get them to uh, run their tasks to help us find a flight for that trip. Um, if no, then we need to kind of find some more options. So we've got the flow. We have given this agent some tools. So tools are essentially skills that we can give the agent. So for example, the ability to run Google searches. And I've built a custom tool for this agent, which I'll talk through in just a moment. And we've connected it to a sub-agent, which is the Flight Time Finley. Flight Time Finley is uh, another agent that is basically just set up to run some Google searches and bring back uh, flight options. So I'm just going to start off running this and then we can sort of talk through and we'll look at the tool in just a moment. So I might say, for example, I'm looking to plan a trip next summer to Asia. Cool, let's see what it comes back with. So first, um, this agent is set up to basically try and fill out uh, or get the data for a tool. So you can see it's come back asking me for a couple of fairly sensible questions, budget, how many children will I be traveling with, what their age is, how long's the trip, etc. So I'm gonna just go ahead and give them some answer, answers. So let's say, I don't know, 5,000 pounds, one child, three years old, three weeks. No, that's not going to be great, is it, for 5K, two. And let's say maybe somewhere um, en route to Australia type of accommodation. Um, let's say family friendly. Um, let's kind of go results. So let's see, see what comes back. So I'll show you the, the tool that we've got now while that's running. So if we jump into tools, we've got this travel destination finder for parents. So um, tools in Relevance AI, there's kind of three parts to it. You've got knowledge, you've got inputs, and then you've got the... Um, so knowledge, um, this I'm probably going to build out a little bit over time, but I've basically given it the websites of uh, a couple of aggregators of good parent-friendly um hotels so if we open this up um essentially it's just built out a table of hotels that have been given really good ratings uh, for family friendliness so we can call on that but also we can run google searches so i'm not convinced that's actually improving the the results the main thing we've got here is basically a bunch of user inputs so the agent is going to try and fill in 
as much of this information as possible. So we've got the departure airport, the destination or the type of trip that we're looking for, the dates of the holiday, the duration, the age of the kids, the budget, number of children, flight duration, style of accommodation. So we can see in the, um, a moment ago that it was starting to ask some of these questions that we, we popped in. This information, along with the knowledge that we, that we uh, provided up here, this is getting passed to an LLM prompt. Um, so you can read it here, but basically we're pumping all of that in with the intent that it returns five options for a hotel stay that meets all of our criteria and returns uh, some information. So if we go back to the conversation that we were having with the agent, we can see that it's basically filled all of that out. Um, it's asked for approval, which is kind of uh, interesting. I am going to change that. Um, here we go. So that we want that to auto run in the future. Um, but in this case, we'll hit approve. So that's now going to basically run that. Um, we can see that that tool is being run in the background. That's going to now pass that over to GPT. It's going to run that prompt and we can see that we're now just waiting for the agent to come back with our options. So let's see how it does. Okay. Here are five family friendly results in Asia that care. Cool. So let's come back with a couple of, couple of options. So if I now say, great, barley sounds cracking. Let's do option five. Looks great. Let's go ahead with that. What should now happen is it should now pass this over to the flight time Finley AI agent, who is now gonna look at flights that will get me there. This is gonna be interesting because I'm pretty sure that there is not gonna be a direct flight to Bali. So I'm kind of curious to see what, what happens here. I think Finley's on his lunch break. Finley. Cool. Okay, so Finley is back from his lunch break and he's given us five options. Yeah, so as thought, it's basically, they've all got one connection. It's given us four options from Heathrow. Um, it's not given us dates. So there's probably a little bit of work to refine the prompt here. Um, I think the ideal thing in this case would be to um, instead of using a Google search, use the API of something like Expedia or something uh, to pull in kind of the, the actual data. But this is kind of cool. Like I kind of like this, this chaining together, having these multiple agents, one sort of help refine the location and then the next one sort of take that information, look at the, the flights. You can see how like taking this concept, you could then extrapolate this to um, for example, have another agent that emails the hotel, makes the booking. If it's using something like the Expedia API, you could you could sort of build this out to get you pretty start, uh, start to finish. But yeah, that was kind of my first attempt building a, a sort of fun little um, multi-agent um, system in Redmond's AI. Overall, I've really loved it. I, I think I really wish that they had more native integrations um, that's the one area that's kind of a little bit limited. If I go over to um, to tools, um, we can kind of see like some of the options. Um, if you go to create tool, there's a lot of good ones in there. Um, but it's it at the moment it seems to be very kind of like dev uh, dev centric, um, which is which is okay. Um, but it would be amazing to kind of see some more kind of popular like CRMs, uh, accounting tools. Like I think building this list out would be amazing. But in terms of ease of use, like it's it's been really nice to, to use, really um, good balance of, of being quite flexible and having a bit of opinion. Um, but yeah, overall really good. Um, but yeah, any feedback or ideas on improving my uh, AI agent, travel agent, uh, let me know. Um, but yeah, hope that's useful.